man, this is why I just choose to just do what I do and avoid most of everything else because it's almost like everything feels like a setup at this point. Like this world, bro, and people has driven me nuts. Like just shut up. Just shut up. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear your shit. I don't wanna hear nothing nobody has to say. I just feel like everything is a setup at this point. Just, 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 just from things I've seen, you know, like <clears throat> there comes a point where you become very irritable of people. It's just like <laughs> things are just bothering you. People is coming at you. People's demanding things from you. And it's just like, it, it just starts to drive you nuts. I don't know if you guys have ever felt this. I don't know if you guys are feeling this right now. I don't know if this is relatable, but this is what it is. I, I genuinely feel like most of everything, almost nothing is genuine. The odd thing that comes your way might be genuine, might. Everything else <laughs> is a setup. And before you get set up, people's watching you, people stalking you, people's paying attention to you, people seeing, hmm, hmm, they're observing you very closely to see how they can enter your life, to see what they can say to try to have their way with you, to do certain things of this nature. Like, bro, what I've come to realize Almost nobody will just like face you like one to one. There's things going on long before people reach out to you and it just feels like a whole setup at this point. Like most of this world, most people that come in contact with you, things just feel like a setup. And it's happened so many times. It's crazy. This in itself just makes you sick to your stomach. Irritable of people. Like just, I just, you just wanna be left alone. It's like, <laughs> I feel good. But when you reach out, when you come around me, when you try to talk to me, when you're blowing my shit up, it's irritable, literally irritable. And most individuals that's trying to come in contact with you is trying to set you up, bro. We are all going through different things. We all experience different things all over the world. But I guarantee you, most people that's coming in contact with you, it's a setup. They're trying to do something to set you up, which benefits themselves and their life. That's what they're doing. Because you're the highest up one. Because you have the answers because you have value. People don't come so frequently to other people who, who are valueless. They're coming to you because you have value. You have something other people want. And a lot of individuals is gonna try to come close to try to manipulate you to get what they want. It's happened to me so many times in my life. And to this point, it's just irritable. Like, I'm good, just shut up. I'm good, just stop. I'm fine, but just shut up. Like, don't drag it on and on and on. Just shut up, and I'm good. You do me a favor, but just shut your trap. 
There's some people just want to keep coming at you and at you and at you and at you with something else and something else and something else and it just, uh, it just drives you nuts. Literally insane. I never liked a whole lot of people coming at me just from all angles. Like I've always liked to deal with like small, small, small groups of people at most. Like having a solid friends group at one point in time and leaving it at that, we ride together, we die together. Nobody else gets in, nobody else leaves. But then things happen. But my point is I always liked small settings What's going on is very understood. It's a controlled environment. There's no snakes. There's no loosey goosey stuff going on. There's no weird shit going on. It's just controlled at all times. We know what's going on. There's no weird shit. There's no crazy shit. There's no outsiders coming in and disturbing things. Like it's just very much so a great vibe where it feels like it's family. It feels like they're benefiting you. You're benefiting them. But now, in this world, things are so chaotic. So many people think you're friends when you're not even friends. It's like, you really think we're friends. Like, are you getting me? You call this a friend? The way you're acting and behaving? Like... <laughs> We live in a world, folks, where people want to extract so much value out of you and then dip. They're not just doing it to you either, but you're a good target. That's why it does happen to you, because you're a good target. Like, I don't understand why people cannot focus on themselves and gain a lot of value within themselves first and then we get together and then it's an amazing experience but people want to run to you they want to come to you they want to manipulate some people want to manipulate you and this is the though those are the worst the worst types of people because they've been observing you for a very long time They've been stalking you and preying on you for a very long time. Some of these people even think they know you, but they really don't. But they're going to try to work their little black magic on you and do their little crazy shit. And it just drives you nuts. Like, you can see it coming a mile away. And it just it's this disgusting energy, bro. It's disgusting and it's irritable. It just pisses you off at this point. It's like, it's right there. <laughs> what the hell? And this is what just makes you want to like vibe alone. It, it doesn't, it, I feel good just around nothing more than being around a whole bunch of people that's just Latching onto my shit, shit, just draining my energy, expecting things out of me. It's like they're energy vampires, bro. That's what it is. They're very much so an energy vampire type of person. Why is it that I can feel so good just to be? And then certain people come around or certain people try to get in contact with you and it's just like... It just makes you like pissy. It's just ir it's irritable. It's just the the first thing that pops up in your mind is just shut the hell up. Just, I don't want to talk to you. Like I just just shut up. Just get away from me. Just run. Just get away from me. I don't want to talk to you. That's the first thing that pops up into your mind when certain people reach out to you. It is irritable. It drives you nuts. Some people thrive off of others' energy. 
And some people thrive feeling very good in itself. And I like to be around other people who can thrive being themselves. Because I have good energy, you have good energy, we don't need to latch on and, oh, we don't feel right when that person's not there. No, we feel right 24-7. But I feel like shit when these energy vampires try to come into my life expecting shit out of me, trying to drain my energy, trying to drain my clip. And it just, man, it just sucks the soul out of you. It drains you, it's very draining. It just makes you wanna lay down and just sleep for like 10 days. Simple little conversation with the wrong person, bro. <laughs> You're drained. It's just like these people are fucking crazy, bro. You are crazy. Shut up. You are crazy. I'm good. Stay away from me. Some people come on so strong, so hard, so demanding, so manipulative, some people. And it's irritable. It's annoying. It's this clingy, needy energy, and it's just like... These are the same people, bro, who's watching you 24 seven. They don't just come out of nowhere, bro. Like they've been observing you for a very long time. They've been watching you for a very long time. And they even think they know who you are, but they don't. They really don't. Like they think their little tactics is going to work on you. They think they're gonna come in and their tactics and with the things they do, it's just gonna work. You can give your head a fat shake, cause it's not. The only thing you're doing is pissing me off. The only thing these individuals do is make me feel this irritable type of disgusting energy where it's trying to drain me. It's like when dogs get pissy at one another. You guys ever see like a bunch of dogs around each other? Like sometimes the dogs get like pissy at each other because one dog is trying to bother the other dog. That's what I don't like. I'm perfectly fine the way I am. It's other people's actions that make me feel on edge. I like peaceful people that can keep their energy to them damn selves. You know the saying, keep your hands to yourself. Keep your energy to yourself. Fucking witches and warlocks out here. <laughs> Going crazy, bro. Trying to suck the life out of you. And it's disgusting. <clears throat> Despicable. Throw the damn cat off the cliff. And I can be around a lot of people, but I don't like to do that for a long time. I can be around a lot of people. I can be extroverted and not feel drained. I can go to a club and be around a whole bunch of people and be the life of the party. It's just not gonna last. Like parties to begin with clubs and stuff, it don't last long to begin with. It's fun while you're there, you do what you do, and then you leave. But in general, <laughs> I don't like to be around a whole bunch of people. There's stuff going on over here, there's stuff going on over there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and it just like drives you nuts because you're absorbing all this, this chaotic energy. You like it to be calm, controlled, and just on point. It's almost this magical type of vibe in the place where your energy's just good. It's like you're in a damn Harry Potter film. Like things are just good. You don't want these crazies around you, bro. You don't want these individuals who's just watching all the time, who's like giving you those looks and they're just, they're just, they're kind of they're kind of come at you now. They're gonna target you now. They're gonna they're gonna come on right strong to you. It's like if you don't get get in my face, 
you're going to get clipped. I cannot stand people like this. I can't. The worst kind of people on earth, I cannot stand it. Can't. Irritable. Mm. You make me want to just literally <laughs> twist your head off so it can stop. Get away from me. Get away from me. That's how I feel. We just want to feel good, to get left alone. We don't want people on us, bro. Get the off of me before I have to literally snap your neck. So you, it stops. You don't keep poking the bear. You don't stay on top of the bear. There'd probably be people, bro, on their cellular devices or laptops or something, staring into your name and just trying to create this dark black magic spell on your life. Like people's really that insane. And some people just don't know when to shut up. They don't. Constantly just at you 24 seven. And it's just like, you can't breathe. It's suffocating. They're trying to suffocate you. I am the last person you want to try to suffocate because I am like the air. You don't put, you don't trap air into a jar, all right? Do not do that. The best way, I can't speak for everybody. The best way to be on my good side is to let me be. Let me be free. Listen to me. Do not interrupt me. Do not stop me until I'm finished. Don't be so quick when I'm done saying something to have this come on so strong and try to warp what I said and all this bullshit. You are crazy. People's always trying to project their way onto you. When you're like the air. I know I am. I'm just like the air and everyone's trying to do something crazy to you. And these people be insane. They're strange cats. And it just sucks the life of you, bro. It sucks the absolute life out of you. What, like, <laughs> man. I don't even know. I, I, I feel best away from people in general, bro. Not many people do it for me. <laughs> Not many people do it for me, bro. Not many. Most shit out there is just like, it's your energy's like top tier. Top tier, you got your shit together. It's like everyone around you is just problematic, chaotic, just... Does anyone have their shit together? Can anybody come with good energy? Is anyone composed? What is going on? Everyone's so... Get your energy right before you even think about speaking to me. People think they do, you don't. It's just annoying. And what they come at you, they be coming at you with all this shit. <laughs> and it's exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. Some people could not pay me a million dollars to sit there for even an hour to speak with them. Like, some people, uh-uh. No, I would, I would rather not. I would just rather not. That is awful. Some people are awful. And it's literally disturbing. It disturbs your energy. The way people are, it's disturbing. I shit you not. I have seen a lot of shit. I have conversated with lots. I, I, I've been approached 
a million times over. Like, I'm to the point where I just want everything to stop. I just want to be me. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, if you guys are experiencing certain things, but like, bro, like, it's just like everywhere I go, whatever I do, I can't pick up my phone, someone's at me, I can't go anywhere, someone's trying to get my energy and talk to me, it's just like, what? You just feel like exploding. Get them out of my way. Because I don't want to hear shit. I love a quiet, peaceful life. I don't like all this nonsensical bullshit. I don't enjoy people paying so much attention to me, trying to get shit going with me, and you're not it. You're not it. You're literally trying to come into my life to manipulate me to your advantage. And you really believe that's gonna happen for you. Like, give your big fat head a shake. Who I am does not stop. Who I am will continue on. It's not going to stop. And the second someone tries to come into my life, and tries to get me to not be who I am, that's the second you're gone. I am me. I will continue to be me. People want to possess you, it feels and seems like. Women do. Other people do. Your peers do. People want to put you in this box. Buddy at the gym wants to view you some kind of way to view you in this small kind of way to, to appease himself, to make him feel, himself feel better. I'm sick and tired of people, bro. I'm sick and tired of people in general. Who can relate? Only y'all know that. <laughs>